Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. Yeah, AMD have confirmed Narve 31 and 33. This is actually on their GitHub repository for ROCKM developer tools. I'll link it in the video description. Not only do we have 31 and 33 listed, but also Van Gogh Light and Rembrandt are also making an appearance. I'd like to give credit to Kamachi for this tweet. And yeah, it's certainly not the only interesting thing happening in AMD land, and we'll get to some NVIDIA stuff in just a moment. Um, according to Graymond, Narve 4X has more chip models than Narve 3X, and furthermore, they claim that Narve 31, 2, as well as 3, seem to be based on the RDNA 3 core, but others don't. Now, yeah, I have personally heard of Narve 34, I've mentioned it a couple of times on the channel, but one thing I find really interesting about it is that I basically got no details. I actually asked one source, well, I assume it's just 33, but smaller, right? And they pretty much just skipped the conversation along. Now, there's one of two reasons that sources generally do this. One, they don't know much about it and just like, well, okay, move on. The other is that they don't want to get, you know, hit in the face with a sledgehammer. So, um, yeah, I kind of expected there to be something a little bit different, but there has been an awful lot of rumors about RDNA 2 refresh. Now, I'm doing a little bit of digging on that on my own, but so far, speaking to some AIBs, and I obviously won't mention who, I can tell you that they have not been briefed of an RDNA 2 refresh. I'll get into some NVIDIA stuff probably in a video in the next couple of days because that's a, that's a very different topic. And I'm starting to wonder, much like Greyman here, if we're actually going to see possibly some type of refresh of RDNA 2 with some possible architectural differences, um, which will basically be Narve 34 and later. It's very curious the routes that AMD are going here. But yeah, I also want to tackle something for NVIDIA. According to Grayman, NV cards are generally from tape out to market in less than a year. So AD102 is likely to tape out in 2022, and the earliest may be the end of this year. As for mass production, it's at least in the middle of the year. And yeah, there's been a lot of rumors of late that we're going to actually see, you know, RTX 40 launch in like Q2 or possibly even prior to that. And I've got to tell you guys, I'm extraordinarily skeptical that this is going to be the case. Um, I personally believe that we're not going to see RTX 4090s and other cards. Obviously, they generally launch with like the higher end models first. So assuming it's kind of in the same vein as, let's say, the RTX 30 series, we'll probably see the, you know, the 3080, sorry, the 4080 and whatever else launch pretty much at the beginning. And obviously, then they'll start to fill in the stack. And personally speaking, I don't think we're going to see anything launch until at the very earliest Q3. I'm personally... I wouldn't even be surprised if it's Q4. And there's a lot of reasons behind this. For one, they just don't need to launch uh, any earlier. And obviously, we've also been hearing quite a lot about a possible RTX 30 refresh. Again, I'll cover that further in a different video because that's kind of a deep, deeper topic, to put it mildly. But yeah, um, I'm from all I'm hearing... There is no way that we're going to get these cards earlier, so I'm 100% behind what Grayman is saying here. It's a very interesting situation that we're going to find ourselves in moving into this next generation of hardware, because obviously not only are we going to see a massive bump in rasterization performance, but it's going to be coming at a time when presumably ray tracing and other stuff is going to become pretty prevalent in games. And from all I understand so far, NVIDIA are going to have a really big fight on their hands when it comes to not only traditional rasterization performance, but also hardware-based ray tracing as well. And yeah, I mean, Narve 3X, if what, you know, if it's even remotely as good as what the rumors are, it, it could be the first situation we've seen in a long time where AMD actually has NVIDIA on the back foot. The question I've got, you know, naturally following on from that is one, if all of this is true with Narvo 3X, and I'm starting to think it could actually be, but again, until I actually get products in my hand, 
I will have some level of skepticism. And the second is how AMD will evolve their, their ecosystem and, well, just overall software. I think FSR has been a really nice um, boon for AMD, but it's hard to imagine that they won't evolve the technology considerably more in the future. It's going to be, well, just fascinating. With all that said, thank you very much for checking out the video. I know it's a lot shorter than normal, but quite honestly, I wasn't going to record today, but I really got intrigued with this news, so I just wanted to kind of let you guys know about it. And um, yeah, with all that said, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.